Hey, just want to make a quick video today to help anyone out there who's trying to find out some of the essential medicines you're going to need if you're going to have goats. If you like the video today at the end, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'm going to put a link in the description below for some of these medicines that I'm going to cover today. So let's jump into it. On this end of the table, this probably represents the most essential medicines to have if you're going to have goats. And that is your probiotic and your electrolyte. This is probios powder, but um, what it does is it gets the good bacteria going again in your goat's stomach if they get the scours. And another thing is if they have the scours, they're going to need electrolytes to keep them hydrated. So that's where the electrolytes come in. And this is called Resorb but it's just one of many electrolytes out there that you can get and you mix with water and you give it orally to your goat when they have the scours. And uh, this is red cell. I also like to give it as well. It's, it's vitamins, it's minerals, and it's good things that uh, will strengthen your goat in a time if they have the scours. So I just take, this is probios powder, this is resorb uh, powder, and this red cell, I just take and mix them with a little bit of water and I draw them up with a syringe and give it orally to the goats if they have the scours. Usually I do it once in the morning, then I go to work. When I come home after work in the evening, I'll give the, uh, the drench again to the goats. And this seems to be pretty effective if your goats get the scours to get them over it, get them back going again. So another thing you're going to need if you have goats is you're going to need some dewormers. This is Safeguard, this is Sidectin, and this is Valbazin. Um, all of these are effective against the barber pole worm, but uh, probably the most effective in this list against the barber pole worm is going to be the Sidectin. And uh, I found it to be very effective against the barber pole. What the barber pole worm actually does is it leaches the blood. And uh, so you'll, you'll notice if you look at your goat's eyelid, uh, inner eyelid, you'll see that it's starting to get really white when they get a heavy worm load of the barber pole worms. And I've had goats that just got to the point they were just laying around and uh, were not hardly moving at all. So I had to give this wormer. And that's at that's a, the very most critical point when you see your goats to that state, you have to act fast. But the Sidectin and these other dewormers can do the job. Another thing you're going to want to give if your goats uh, get the barber pole worms very heavy is you want to give them some red cell. This is rich in iron and it's going to help get the blood back going and building. So a little further down on the table, these two items here are for if your goat gets hoof rot. Um, this one's called Fungal Way. This is another antifungal spray. And also you can give... Uh, bleach water. Mix some bleach with, with some water and uh, dip your goat's hoof into it and hold it there for several seconds and that's another way that you can treat the hoof rot if your goats get the fungus growing between their hoof. These are some things you're going to, to need. A little further down the table this is cut plus heal. This is a uh, spray that you can put on a wound or a laceration as well for your goats and it basically prevents any type of flies or anything from laying eggs and in, in the wound and there being larvae that hatches so just some wound sprays then at the very end of the list this is called Corid and this is a medicine for treating coccidiosis uh, and it's uh it's if your goats get the scours and it's not caused by just the green grass or maybe it's not caused by worms but they actually have coccidiosis you can see that under a microscope if you do a fetal test and at that point you're going to want to mix up some of this co-rid powder or by the the uh the liquid co-rid that's already mixed and draw it up into a syringe and give it to your goats to get them over the coccidiosis so anyway uh I'll put a link in the description below for these medicines, as many of them as I can find on Amazon. And uh, hope this video helps somebody out there today who's looking to get goats or already has them. 
and I have other videos if you want to subscribe to the channel and look through those videos to help you on some of the issues you're going to face if you're going to have goats. So thanks for watching the video today and good luck with your goats.